going by what you said. Let him uh, push that piece of plywood over, Bill, whenever you get a chance. Yeah, it's too tight. Go that way, Bill. Yeah, watch out, Bill. We gotta back it up. Yeah, All right. It's a beautiful thing. What? day. Beautiful thing. <coughs> wow. Wow. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. USA. Slides on the porta cable or drill. Show them what it'll do, Paul. I don't know if I got any of that on the video. What, metal? Cutting it. <laughs> How easy is to cut? Yeah, this is nice. The hell with it there, I'm tuning the snips. Right Put my foot on it. Like this. Huh? Yeah. Like it, huh? Do that again. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Thank see you, Paul. See what it's called? Huh? Yeah, man, Malco, that's beautiful. Really, really helps out a bunch when you gotta cut a hole in this thing. Ten snips. Ugh. Ugh. Just did it. I'm gonna make it. Just did hey, it, Paul. Good three job. years old. You're running good. Good job. I like that porta cap. Good. Three years old. You're running good. Running good. Grab a few of your screws, Bill. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kick them off. Because they will poke a hole in your rubber. Been there, done that. That's why we're telling you now. So you don't. Knock them burrs off. Screwing and screwing. Uh oh. Got a little top here. A little top. Got it. A little persuasion. That will have to be kicked off. There you go, see? And then we'll blow it all off. Beautiful thing. There you go. Next step. The other side? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I think it's that death, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Yeah, take a three inch screw and pull that, pull that back. And that, yeah, that would be beautiful. And that's how it's done, guys. Make sure the outside lines up with the plywood. All them screws I just went down there and put in. Billy's going to knock them out. And then we'll come back and fill them in. Can you give me a three inch right here? I got it right here. Need a screw? Yeah. Coming up. And a drill. Yeah. I drill right here. Mr. Sir? Yes, sir. Thank you, thank you. That is the way it is done. That coal stalk on the other side is white. This side's brown. It comes two feet by 50 foot by that Lowe's Home Depot. Coil stalk. Yes, sir. I could. It came inside. Can't use the same hole. Beautiful. Beautiful. Done deal. And then, uh, my screw gun, I'll go ahead and fill them in.
Do that all the way down. You do not want anything changing or moving. Once you get this on, screws are great. I love them. Don't. Don't pull the screws all the way through. Just like sheetrock, you want them just below the surface. Screw down over here. Good, good, good. Don't shoot it all the way down top. Moving right along. Lay it back down. I got to right now. Need another screw? Not all the way. Give me a small screw, baby. Inch of 5.8. Remember that metal will come up, cover most of that. Yeah. And you're out. We're a half inch below. As it's gonna go, it's beautiful. Time you put your metal, that's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, tight, tight as we can get it. All right, looking good, looking real good. What you need, Bill? Long one, Here you go, bro. Yeah, I need a long one over there. There you go, and a short and a hammer. <laughs> These are all good. Didn't go in. It's been screwed already. Well, I, because I had to do something a little bit where it was rising. Gotcha. Oh, that feels good right there. Here. No. I want to put it back here. Yep. Anyway, it comes back down. We might have to cut some of that gutter. Oh yeah. yeah. Off. Yeah. You always seen that. We do that with chin sticks. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You can do that and then put a little block in there, right? Well, right, so we get this one piece right here down. Touch this one. We don't have to worry about none of this. When I put that metal up there, my box and everything gonna kill out right there. It will. I think that brown would look real good on there. 
Ask her what? Oh, she's not here. Yeah, it's got a, got a brown trim on it. Yeah, but that brown is, uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I'm going with white. I'm going with white. I'm not a fan of that chocolate. I mean, either way, you can go brown, which is smooth, or you can go textured on the other side, which is white. I'm just, I'm, I'm a fan of the white one. I have had, what, what, where was that uh, Murphy you guys put brown? West Virginia. West Virginia? Yes, sir. Brown. West Virginia guy. He loved it, I know. Thank you, sir, Billy Hand. Wrapping the sub basha. Call it what you want. And away you go. Take that first piece. Chris has already did his bending. He's also bent his outside. Excuse me, right here. So I just pull it up. He has it measured so that it's below. There you go. So yes, sir, I'm ready. So it's below the plywood and then a four inch face. So we have a half an inch past the two by four. If water for some reason ever got back there, it's uh, at least not gonna sit on the bottom of a two by four and have an issue. So I think this is the way to go. Hope I'm actually getting something on video. Find out when I get home. Tappahannock, Virginia. All right, Bill. Oh, Not, yet. Not yet. We'll go back there in a minute. Once we get to him where you and I can keep going, he'll go back turn bark. You know what I mean? What do you think? I was just trying to figure out something we could do real quick, get a few pieces of <coughs> What? I can't see it from here, so. Well, you got the net metal nailed on. You get now? You get now? Yeah, he needs a flat bar. Let me get him a Stanley down here somewhere. One flat bar coming up, Billy. I can find it. I got one. Hey, Billy, you need a flap? Oh, you already got one. Had a light we didn't get off. Got it. Tell you. It's 11.13. 45 minutes. That's like a long time. That ain't too bad. We'll have some metal up by then at least. That's what? White nails and a hammer. Thank you, Billy. Got gotcha. you. One piece. Oh, sorry about that, Billy. Got you some nails right there, my friend. Sweet thing. All right. Anything else in the way you're looking down through there? Everything looks beautiful. You're okay, buddy. I'm where I need to be. You got your little lap. Sweet deal. He's got it. He's got a line on it Chris made.
Yeah. I'm good down here. Beautiful thing. Stainless steel. These are stainless steel. Aluminum are the fat ones. And they suck, they bend so easy. Don't get the aluminum ones. Come the other side, put us right there. Hey, sloppies. Huh? She have a oh, son of a bitch. We didn't even start her with a starter piece. <laughs> oh, what happened? Yeah, it took a small piece down there. What? Small piece down there. He switched it on the other side. He did? That's because that's he pulled from here. Yeah, yeah. Last time. I didn't want to put a small piece here. Okay. I just do one side one way and do the other side the other way. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not a problem. That'll work. That too long, it is. It is. Oh yeah. Go ahead and get you out nailed up. You nailed? Yeah, good. Nailed. Just let it run wild. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't like that close. Mm-hmm. Window right there too. I can't be an over no more though. What are you thinking, Paul? Right there? That's that piece of here, right? Huh? That's that piece of here. No. Mm. Okay. You got a new one? Mm-hmm. New one, that's all I need to do. Is it gonna just bend right there? No, I'm cut it all the way off. Yeah. Why couldn't it just bend? I don't know, but you know what I mean? Why can't it just bend? I got a whole piece. See the bugging section there? See what it looks like. And then you then you can cut it off. How about that? Was that gap right there? That gap right there, right? Small one? Uh, little, very little. No. By the time I screw it in, it's you hardly gonna see it. That's what we should start doing. Don't you? Tell us what's It looks really nice on the fucking transition. Mm -hmm. it looks like fucking yeah. professional. Pop, Chris, tell me it don't look good. Look better than two piece in it. You need to drop down though. To the bottom of the floor. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, you line that up right there. Yeah, yeah. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Looks good. good. I like it. All right, right there, Bill. Mm -hmm. Looks professional. No, I love that. Actually, the best way I've ever seen it. My opinion. All right. Y'all got the rest of it now? Nope. Not going to talk about No. Huh? What do you, we don't have the metal. But I really like that. Hey, hand me that piece up Both of them. If they're cut for up here, we'll take them. Okay. If I know how to pull this, I'm going to drop down. Okay. I need you right here for a minute, Bill. Right here. Bill, right here. Right here for a minute. He's coming, Bill. All right. Careful on that ladder, please. Make sure it's secure. This goes first. Yeah. So Paul is making this piece that will be for the top. You will have some craftsmanship you'll have to do there. But it doesn't take much if you just look at it you know anything about metal or wood.
and you don't have to cut it all at the same time you just kind of nip at it that's not our first cut that's the second time we cut it working our way to it if you cut too much the first time you screwed up right off the bat in the right ball yeah. Square. I see that apple. Here we go. Acrylic. Huh? Water base. It's about 105 degrees up here, right? Yeah, it feels like about 105. It's pretty hot. Fan ain't doing nothing for me. Away we go. Yeah. That's what I like to do. I like to personally take it in there, kind of get a little bit of it off so it's not running shit everywhere. I like two runs. One run right up against. Like that. Second run out here, just too wide because I have to reach out for that. And get rid of all this stuff. Put it right in the roof. It'll handle it. Get it all on there good, just like that. Grab the outside corner and pull it back. 60 mil is beautiful stuff to work with. Easy. It is really easy. Sweep her down one time. Sweep. I'm see which way I'm sweeping. I'm not sweeping sideways, so you're stretching it. Push right into it, so. Beautiful. Do it again. Not that bad. Thank you, it's used to heat. Heat, it's just hot, that's all. It's hot, I ain't gonna lie. Summertime, man, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Put your do rag on. Put your do rag on. More shirt. I'm just doing this with the broom to push it down, make it nice contact. You want these two layers to contact each other nice. And that 60 mil really does lay down nice. Anyways, I'd use it if it wasn't so expensive. I mean, it's already expensive to do this job and some people just can't afford anymore. And that's how most it. You know, time you're done. All right. No. I mean, this one wasn't too bad. It's kind of small. Right at 6,000. For one this size. If it was at my house, where I live, probably would do about five. Yeah. Right. 
hot, buddy. Yeah, boy, get warm, that's hot. It's hot, bro. I ain't lying. That's what it is. Huh? All right, pull it out. They sell rollers, big hundred pound rollers for this too. I don't have the roller. Brain freeze. You get a brain freeze, Paul? From the outside in. Brain freeze. I think Paul's brain froze anyway. Yeah. Now his brain fried. Fried, yeah. Paul's brain is fried. No doubt in my mind. Down and go. Hot, hot. You will burn your hand on this rubber. Oh yeah, and that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Pull it up, and just do it again. Ain't nothing lays down as good as that 60 does. My PAD is kicking in. Yeah, right. I ain't Good got time. it it's kicking in. <laughs> God. Kicking in. Anybody with PAD knows what the hell that is, bro. It's fucking pain. You were trying to walk. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh, got it going over the edge down here, Paul. Oh, Big time. Oh, man. See? Uh, Damn it. Mm -hmm. Damn. Right over the edge. I hope I didn't do it all the way down through there. <laughs> oh. I'm hoping not. Glue on the face. I did. Uh. Damn it. Yeah, that's not good. Try not, try not to make it go over the edge. Hello. Hey buddy, how you doing? Oh, we're up here burning up, brother. It's looking good though. Looking good. Putting metal on now, we're gluing down rubber now. I'll see you then. <coughs> Alright, well. Thanks to Drew. Yeah, thank you, Drew. Let me pat you on your back. Come here. Pat, pat me on the ass. Yeah, I'll pat you on the ass.
Sai, sai, rima. It does move nice, doesn't it? Lays down pretty. Look how flat that lays compared to that 45. Oh yes, it is. Nothing about it's the same. One more little spot here. The other 15. How's that fur? I'm not stretching. Not that good getting away. I'll be stretching. Flip it on back. Beautiful. I love the way it lays. in the way. Notice how fast that side's getting done? We need to mark it anyway. Come on. Make it. Get that clay on back. Twist it a couple times, you gotta retighten. He's just marking that so we know where the end is, so we don't go past it with our glue. <clears throat> Bill, let's go. Gotta move it. Makes it quicker for him not to have to carry him up and down. Take that. Take that. You get your you get a water. Alright. 
Pipe. Pipe. No, not the kind you smoke. <laughs> pipe. Pipe. And another pipe. What is that? Bathroom vent or something? Yeah, flop vent. I've never seen one with a flapper in it. No. That's a high dollar one, dude. Uh oh, move. sorry. Let him move. It's got a flapper. Alright, where we go? Two lines, baby. Two, two. Two. Sorry about that. Huh? Amazing. It's just super quick. It's like slap two runs and pull it out, it's done. He already had three before you even said anything. He didn't he he forgot that we went two runs on the last job. That's all right, we'll get him. We'll get him broke in eventually. Pull him to me. What you pull us so damn hard for? Damn. Burn my damn thing. Heck of yeah, he's got to milk it up better than that. That's almost clear already. Don't do like I did, run it all down the front. <laughs> Surprised you didn't see it. Yeah, right. Better do it out the bottom. I'm not doing that every time. Well, pull it with him then. Work together. Oh. I'm not gonna pull it every time back. You just jerked yours before he even took his hands on his. I know we're a lot faster than Billy, but give him time. Another couple years, he'll be right up to speed. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> I hate what I say, Thank you, Chris. You don't work like we do, Paul. You know, he got 30 years. That was better. Mark. Work. I hope this helps somebody be able to do their own. You know it will. I know it's helped a few already. I've had some good uh, compliments and comments on my channel from people telling me that they did their own. Nah, it's not hot, Bill. Hot. Oh. 
this just kind of pulls wrinkles out of it pushes it down into the glue since it's single sided and you're only putting it on the osb you want to push your rubber down onto it so it has contact because obviously contact is what makes it stick Yes, sir. Come back. You're gonna have to work your rubber just a little bit to make it lay down nice and pretty because when you have a roll here in the middle it goes up like that and then on the ends it goes down kind of turns like this your rubber wants to act funny twist up push it down push them wrinkles right out of it rubber does a lot of stuff all right guys you're looking good Really looking good. Man. We'll be surprised with this one. They will be surprised with this one. Lay down nice. Lay down nice. Very nice. Look at that. Pretty. That's 100% glued down right back here, all of this. It's not coming up off this roof. Wind, nor sleet, nor hail will give you any trouble on this roof. And you probably get a little bit of all of that around here in Virginia. Plus. Same cut, but ass back. Okay. This one hole's not good enough. Vent won't go back in there. Slides in that hole.
Yep. It's hot. Hot. You need a nice blade though, I'll tell you that. You son of a bitches not. Hey, Mr. Watts. Dull. Dull as hell here. Cut shit with it. <laughs> Meant for you. How do you throw this? Hey. Is that Bill? Huh? Is that Bill? Can't help Bill with what? Put a bubble on his shoulder. You're carrying that rubber up here? Huh? Really push, 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 push this side. That way. Give me that boy. Push it back up the other way. Hold it there. Now go over some more. Two grips. Yeah, I know. The round one. That yeah. one has a sleeve that goes in it.
so hot I can't even put my knees on the roof. Too hot. Burning my knees. What you use is important, just so you know. That's what I use. I do. Oh, he's done. He's done. Good. Sir. What about it? You get that hole? What hole? I don't see a hole. Huh? I don't even see a hole. No, you're supposed to be a hole here. Get Where's it? I thought it was back there. Bill, you cut it off. Huh? You, cut, you cut this thing off? <laughs> Not bad, right? Looks good. Look at here. Another little step. We're gonna be done with this thing today. Reach the bottom in first, Bill. Yeah, bottom first. Just push it into the bottom. It's in. Yeah. I like that. <coughs> yes, sir. Right up the wall, baby. Right up the wall. There you go. Nice knife. Don't cut that top piece. Cut it down below it an inch. Right 
That's nice. <coughs> Very nice. Ain't no damn leak there ever. <coughs> ever. So if you have a transition in your roof and it's similar to this one, you do the same thing we just did. Plywood down the face. Glue it up on the plywood or OSB over to the transition to go straight up and down. Run your substrate glue on the wall and on the back of the EPDM rubber. Slide it right up. Let me help you out with that, Paul. Thank you. Watch out. I got that. I got that. Be me on my fingers, but I got it. You got it, Paul. Nice, very nice. That's what we were looking for, man. Come That's what we were looking for. <laughs> Turn the damn heat down anytime. Oh, you need peeling that. No, once that once that's actually stuck, it's not coming off of there. through every six inches now that's what you want to do you want to put one in every hole just to where it put, pulls up tight against that grommet right there rubber grommet don't want to go too tight So, I'm noticing, I'm not complaining, but my videos get about a thousand views, and then it just kind of stops. So what I'm thinking is, maybe I have too many videos out there, and I'm showing too much. And therefore, they're just seeing so many different videos that I don't get a lot of views on one particular video. I guess that's just all about videos. Part of doing videos, but I hate it. Thinking maybe I just need a few less videos so I get more views on just one of them. I think that might do some changes. I don't know. I'm going to try something. 